Another popular Polish tradition carried on this year despite the pandemic, the Polonaise Restaurant Easter Dinner Curbside Edition. The St. Francis Restaurant served close to 600 meals. That included Easter baskets filled with wine, desserts, eggs. The Brzezinski family moved to Milwaukee from Poland and opened Polonaise nearly 40 years ago, and it is still going strong. Now, as you can tell, we are turning our attention to all things Polish and the cuisine. And if you can't think of any popular Polish dishes, we thought we'd help you out. So here's the first one, cabbage rolls. They are a traditional Polish dish, and you've probably seen them in a lot of other countries though, as well. Neighboring countries make a variation of this cabbage rolls. It's just seasoned with meat, rice, and wrapped in boiled cabbage leaves, then baked in a light tomato sauce. Sounds good. And pierogi are perhaps one of the most widely known and loved Polish dishes. These stuffed dumplings are versatile and they can be made sweet, stuffed with fruits or chocolates or anything you might want, or filled with savory food. That's what they're usually filled with, stuff like meat and potatoes. <laughs> well, Milwaukee is known to love our sausage. And Polish was well, one of the Milwaukee Brewers' famous Johnsonville racing sausages. But did you know that the word kielbasa just really means sausage in general, so no specific type. Very interesting. And back here, Jeff Kudinski. Thank you, uh, Kudurski, excuse me, Executive Director for the Polish Center of Wisconsin. You know, you have a special event coming up tomorrow that really has an emphasis on Polish cuisine. Can you tell us about that, Jeff? Well, it's, it's you're making me hungry, so, you know, I guess I have a variety. <laughs> me too. Polish sausage. I got our, our pork shanks with sauerkraut. Of course, pierogi, and we have this going on every Wednesday. It's our Polish cafe through August, and we're going to feature in, uh, all sorts of different Polish uh, menu items, anything from Clement's Polish sausage to braised pork shanks, uh, pork schnitzel is tomorrow, $15, uh, roasted bone-in chicken for those who do not wish to have some traditional Polish. We have meat-filled potato dumplings. Mm, wow. And <laughs> Mm. And again, we have like Chicken Supreme available as well. And of course, our full bar here at the Polish Center, Wisconsin, it's four to eight o'clock. Wow, very nice. How's business been going through the pandemic? Have you been able to hang in there? Uh, yeah, and it's, and it's a, we have this area pretty, it's all socially distanced, so it's pretty safe. We have dining indoors and out. We also do takeouts available. And this Friday will be the last fish fry for July. So we have our fish fry, breaded hand, breaded cod, baked cod, and pierogi. Um, so we're doing that on Friday, but then in August, we're going to continue with the Wednesdays, Polish Cafe. Well, Jeff Kudurski, uh, you've just made me very hungry. And in Polish, I'd like to say thank you, or zekuichi. I don't know if I said that right. You can say it better for me. <laughs> zekuichi or something. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I hey, like we it. Well, thank you. For us here. <laughs> oh, Hopefully, wow. Uh, you know, oh, guess. Yay. And we, we also do weddings at Polish Center, Wisconsin as well, helping the COVID brides. Wow. I'm loving Jimmy. I'm loving you, Jeff. We appreciate you being with us this afternoon. And go ahead and keep playing, Jimmy, if you'd like. You can find more information about Polish Cafe on our website, tmj4.com. Just head to the link section. We'll be back with much more fun. This is TMJ4 News at 3.30.